Now to a developing story, a worst case scenario for, scenario for educators. A student is arrested for attacking a teacher right in the middle of a classroom. Now local educators say something needs to change. Yeah, reporter Jeremy Chen is live outside of Cheyenne High School with what the Clark County Education Association is saying. Jeremy. Yeah, this is certainly a situation no teacher ever wants to find themselves in where a student is actually trying to fight them. A local teachers union I talked to says enough is enough. As an educator, it makes me sick to my stomach. Clark County Education Association President Marie Nysis is disturbed after news of a fight between a teacher and a student at Cheyenne High School Wednesday. This is completely unacceptable. Educators and staff and students should be able to feel safe in their classroom environments, and clearly that's not what's happening. NYSA says the teachers union has reached out to the educator and is waiting to hear back. School police say the student involved was arrested and booked into juvenile hall. Under the collective bargaining agreement with the Clark County School District, schools are supposed to have a plan in place for teachers to call for help like school police officers if something happens. Under state law, teachers can't put their hands on students but are allowed to defend themselves if they're attacked in extreme situations. NYSA says unfortunately each school handles incidents differently. Part of the problem is it varies from one school site to the other. There are procedures and policies in place by CCSD, but they're not always handled the same or equally. She says the district needs to step up and establish clear policies and procedures to keep a safe classroom environment. This is a 911 emergency. Our students are not feeling safe. Our staff and educators are not feeling safe. Something has to be done now. Now, CCSD trustees are expected to talk about school violence at their next school board meeting next week on March 10. CCSD PD says this particular fight remains under investigation. Live outside of Cheyenne High School, I'm Jeremy Chen.